State Command of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, NACDC, has organized a retirement ceremony to bid farewell to their commandant, Zukuru Ibrahim Mohammed, as he clogged 60. The commandant, who was transferred to the command in 2022, was praised by his staff for his exceptional services. The retirement ceremony took place in a packed hall with service chiefs from sister agencies providing recommendations and testimonies. Your commandant is a gentleman by excellence. It's not something that we should overflow. When he came, he did all the the courtesy visit. And I, have, I was just planning that we want to write so that I will reciprocate the visit. When I, the, his PA now called me, I said, oh, guy is tired. Have you had? I said, ah, I'm not aware. This is somebody that I'm hoping that he has maybe another eight, seven years. Ah. Because of the looks, the agility, the combat nature of this man anywhere we go. We retire in good health. Amen. You will retire in sound heads Amen. as you will be going back to stay with your family we pray that they will not regret your coming back Amen. remember then today my colleague is supposed to be here he's in Zoom meeting as you know we have new CG in place he was so worried he said this man is too good for me to make this occasion but I pray you go there because your friend you know he said it's too humble okay. God will be with you. Yeah. He shall be well with you. Yeah. What is said about you is not ordinary we are saying because I witness it too. I know what it means. To say sit down, let us join together. Wherever you go, you meet the favor of God. Yeah. 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 Sorry. That that mercy will not be part or separate from you, sir. Congratulations, sir. From experience, and I want to share my experience with the commandant, sir. Retirement is real. All these things that you are enjoying, you will never see it again. Very, 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 very factual about it. You would see it, just as I told you that you should prepare your ground for retirement. And I'm sure you have learned from what I'm saying today. When you came in today, I just saw it the uniform. You are all more putting on the uniform. So also every one of us will one day will put this uniform. So this is what we do that will go after us. Amen. Amen. As I was talking to you, I retired from the Nigerian Army so many years ago. And I thank God, God protect my life. And I'm making life. Anywhere the commander, going commanders go, God will guide you. Amen. Anything you lay your hand upon will prosper. Amen. You will enjoy your retirement life than when you are in the service. Amen. And it's going to happen to all other chief officers here. Jesus. Amen. I wish you best of luck, sir. Because after maybe now. I may not likely to see him again. Except if God say we will jam again for a reason or the other, maybe on the media. But one thing I want to register before us as colleagues here is this. One of our seniors said something the other time. That if you live a good relationship, we will meet again. Somehow, somewhere. And um, the little thing I've learned from this very handsome man. He's very kind. He's a very kind man. He's a father. He will listen to different people. He won't say this one. He will still listen. Even though he had his challenges in one way or the other, but he will still listen. He's a listening leader. He listens. 
and they will not insult you. Even though the decision that you may likely take, you may not be so palatable, but you will still listen to you. You will not go and cry. He's a very kind man, a humble man. I appreciate you. I would say you have a very, very uh, good retirement time, sir. May God be with you. May God be with you. God will continue to honor you. God will continue to go with you. On this note, I will appreciate you and bye bye, sir. In the commandant office, I feel so sad that a commandant like this, who is like a father to us, will be leaving us so soon. I wish we could enjoy him more. But my prayer at this juncture is that wherever you go, Almighty Allah will be with you. Thank you so much, sir. During his speech, Commandant Ibrahim expressed his gratitude to NSCDC Quara Command. Governor Abdurrahman Abdul Razak and the people of Kwara State for their unwavering support throughout his tenure. There are a lot of assistance through the agencies for the synergy I enjoy during my stay. In fact, I had a good working cordial relationship with them. I'm very happy and uh, I appreciate them. Uh, once again, I'm interested my retirement. Not retirement at the, uh, at the 35 years time, but 60 years. So therefore, this is a great uh, success. I can say that God has uh, done news because I appreciate what God has done to me. Investing into the service is good years and retirement is good years. It is really a team of a joy. And I wish you to say. Amen. Uh, first of all, I have to also thank my Commander General for giving me the opportunity to serve as a state commandant. Because most of the commandants do not have the opportunity to be a state commandant. So therefore, this has given me ample opportunity to contribute to my own quota to the development of the goal. So I'm very much grateful. And I have to also thank His Excellency, the Executive Governor of God State, for the support and cooperation and assistance he has been given to me since I arrived this state as a state commander. Relationship. I feel that with the state, I have been calm. And uh, the peaceful nature of the state, which I have uh, come to understand the state of harmony, uh, continue to exist during my stay in this command. So thank you and God bless. To celebrate their outgoing boss, the band unit played a special melody, creating a joyful atmosphere. The chapel unit also conducted prayers with both Muslim and Christian members, praying for a successful retirement and blessings for Commandant Ibrahim from NSCDC Quara Command and, in fact, Ismail just event online. <laughs>